All right, you guys, what is going on, you guys? It's Ninja here, and today I got for you guys me video, kind of just talking to you guys about the whole update in Infinite Warfare. If you guys did not know, yesterday Infinite Warfare actually came out with an update that was 1.3 gigabyte, and actually it did absolutely nothing. But it did do one thing, which I actually want to talk about in this video, and that one thing was obviously really not beneficial to the game, and I think some of you guys may have actually noticed this yesterday. So if you guys don't remember, there was an XP glitch in Infinite Warfare just about two weeks ago. I'll throw it up on screen now so you guys can see. So that right there was the capture the flag xp glitch in infinite warfare just about two weeks ago so keep that in mind two weeks ago there was an active working glitch where you could prestige in about four games and you could almost prestige five times within a day if you just sat and capture the flag with a couple buddies and just thoroughly did this glitch really good you could prestige really really quickly and it was just insane a lot of people were exploiting this glitch and then like a day later this glitch obviously then got patched so bravo to them they actually did something that fixed the game well yesterday infinite warfare actually came out that one point three gigabyte update a lot of people were thinking maybe something could get changed in this game for the better hopefully this game can get revived a lot of people were excited about this update well actually after reading the patch notes pretty much the only thing beneficial out of that whole update was a couple things like bugs and stuff like that which obviously you know that's that always comes with an update and also the whole thing with ghost and now that you can actually call in an advanced uav and it's almost like a hater where you know you're not you're still going to be seen on the radar even if you have ghost with advanced uav up so that is one thing that i actually think think that is cool that they actually did in this update but other than that you guys there's really nothing they did they took out a couple camos from the extra camos and other than that I really didn't see anything else that was like really big and something that I was gonna get excited about those were really the only two things that I actually noticed out of the update from yesterday well after the update actually went released I think you guys just need to see this all right when you guys see this you guys are gonna think to yourselves this game is so broken like I was playing the game for two hours yesterday and I did not rank up one time I was level 51 and I'm thinking to myself, I've played this game for two hours. Why am I not leveling up at all? Yesterday, you guys may have actually realized that you're not leveling up whatsoever. It's taking you hours to level up. And yesterday, I streamed for two hours, or I was streaming for two hours at the time of when I actually, you know, realized that this was happening. I streamed for about two hours at that point. I'm thinking to myself, what is happening? I'm only halfway through level 51, and I was like the beginning of level 51 in the beginning of the two-hour stream. And at that two-hour point, I'm like thinking to myself, I'm talking to chat. I'm like, guys, what should I do? You know, what is happening? Does anyone know any no one really responded but then there was this one person that said there's apparently this whole like xp glitch where it's only giving you a certain amount of xp that it's telling you it, it's awarding you so let's say this it gives you a hundred thousand xp per game it only it's gonna say you have been awarded a hundred thousand xp but truly it's only gonna give you about 25 percent of that xp now i actually tested this in game like six different times to actually see the percentage and throughout most of those percentages i would probably say the you know the average out of those six were about 25 to 30 percent of the actual xp you were supposed to be getting so what i mean by that is let's say you were supposed to get awarded you know like say 10,000 xp for instance for 25 percent of that would be you know 2500 so you'd only be really getting you know a portion of what the xp you should be getting so that is obviously another xp glitch and i played for about four hours and it took me four and a half hours to actually get to level 52 so you know it took me a really long time and throughout you know just seeing is trying to like myth bust this you could say the stream was helping me out a lot and stuff like that and i actually just noticed that you know this this isn't giving me xp this is so stupid and then all of a sudden after testing this theory out a bit then it, like infinity ward actually tweeted out saying that we've got a patch in the works to fix the xp bug we're seeing we'll keep you posted when it goes live thanks for your patience like you guys come out with an update that then breaks your game even more but then you know changes a couple bugs like come on infinite warfare like you guys guys are like stupid like i don't know what it is you guys i like infinite warfare i don't really like bashing on the game i truly do enjoy it sometimes i'm not gonna lie i actually do enjoy it sometimes when i'm like you know di using different weapons stuff like that which we're gonna get into that in just a little bit here but i do truly enjoy infinite warfare i think it could be a good game it's just a na it's not a solid game it's really not you know 100 percent yet i feel like th like their full effort is at about a uh, 60 percent right now and the game should be at 100 percent you know when they release the game there's no leaderboards everything like black sky looks bad you know it's just the whole game didn't feel actually like full yet if that makes sense now after explaining how that xp glitch works it's pretty mind-blowing the game was only giving you about 25 percent of the xp you were actually earning when after the game was telling you 
you know, you were getting the full XP that you thought you were getting, if that makes sense. After every game, it will say, you know, you have earned this much XP. Well, truly, it was not giving you that much XP. It was really only giving you about 25 of that XP that it was saying it was giving you. So that was the whole thing of the whole XP glitch. It wasn't no crazy XP glitch like it was back two weeks ago where you can, you know, prestige in a game, you know, prestige in a couple games. It was nothing like that. It was more so, you know, you're not ranking up, and that is somewhat still of an XP glitch. So now that I'm done kind of talking about that glitch, I want to talk about things that could obviously improve infinite warfare and i think a lot of you guys probably have the same concerns that i do so at any part of this video if you guys do agree with what i'm saying or if you guys just enjoyed the video if you guys could drop a like on the video it'd be much appreciated i want to see this video do well i want to see positive feedback on this video i want to see all comments concerns everything about infinite warfare down in the comments because i do want to actually read a lot of comments so if you guys have any other thoughts that i'm actually going to bring you guys in this video please let me know down in the comments below and i'll actually be responding to pretty much every single person because i really want to interact with you guys talk to you guys a little bit and kind of just make like a community about this and just really you know talk about the issues that infinite warfare has because obviously i think talking about issues makes the game better and i think it makes the you know the developers a little bit more aware that we know that this is a problem and it needs to be fixed so i need every single person to help me out drop a like on the video comment down below another concern or just you know going off of maybe like a piggy piggyback of what i'm trying to say you can kind of go off of what i'm trying to say so you guys the first thing that i really think that really needs to get changed in this game is leaderboards obviously a lot of people thought that after this 1.3 gigabyte update almost everyone in their moms and grandmas and dogs were thinking to themselves all right there is no way that they're not going to release the leaderboards the leaderboards are going to be coming out to infinite warfare today a lot of people were super hyped obviously infinite warfare and just infinity war alone were hyping up this update a little bit too much than what it actually was they were saying you know this is the big december update and i don't even think this actually is the big december update just yet they said that this there was going to be a big december update but i don't really think that this update was that big december update hopefully so yesterday they released no leaderboards there's no leaderboards and that's one thing that it really needs to be in infinite warfare i think a lot of people obviously you know have that same concern it needs to change really quickly there's never been a call of duty that's been released with no leaderboards like in the first like month it's almost been a month now and there's still no leaderboards like the game is not fully 100 percent so i feel like the leaderboards is probably one of the biggest issues with infinite warfare right now a lot of people like to see you know they're 200 in the world in tdm me personally i probably would you know be a really good rank in tdm because you know i play tdm all the time every single day a couple hours a day on infinite warfare so for me i should be you know somewhat high ranked in the leaderboards well you know i can't even see that so that really doesn't make me want to play the game anymore make me want to play that game mode anymore and i think that is one reason why this game is dying out so fast is because first off the leaderboards and obviously there's more reasons that i'm going to get into right now and i think something actually kind of piggybacking off of the, the longevity of the game is the whole thing with the nuke variants and how you have to earn salvage to actually unlock nuke variants or actually get to a certain point of a mission team would take so long to get an fhr 40 you have to use the second mission team and you have to get to level 40 which takes a like a pretty long time like you're gonna at least have to prestige to even get that nuke variant of that weapon and also that's only one weapon you know there's a couple other weapons in the game that you actually have to get throughout salvage or supply drops or whatever for instance the envy force fallout if you're gonna buy that throughout salvage that's almost like four thousand to like three thousand or three thousand to four thousand salvage that you actually have to earn to actually unlock the envy four fallout so a lot of people don't like that me personally i don't like it i don't think it gives the game any more longevity because you know what if someone's gonna see you use the nv4 fallout non-stop just to get a nuke that's pretty repetitive in my personal opinion that's really boring i don't want to watch a gameplay that someone's using the nv4 fallout in every gameplay just because you know he can only get a nuke with that specific weapon so i think that is one of the another biggest issues with the game is the nuke variants and stuff like that need to be on more weapons or you know make more weapons in the game and put all those weapons that they maybe if they add the acr they need to put a nuke variant on the acr they need to put all the dlc weapons with like a nuke variant at least i think they need to change that up a bit and that's like the two biggest issues in my personal opinion is that as well like the leaderboards as well as with the you know the issue that i just spoke about with the nuke variants and stuff like that so the next issue that i have is an issue that not too many people even have unlocked but it's how the black sky camo looks if you haven't looked at what the black sky camo looks like go look in some of my recent videos you'll see how it looks and me personally i think it looks like garbage i think a lot of people can agree on that it looks like trash and it makes me say 
you know, why would I grind for that camo if it looks that bad? And to actually unlock that camo, you have to get all of the classic weapons diamond, which you need to be max prestige to get all the classic weapons, as well as with then you get the solar camo, which practically the solar camo is the dark matter camo. You know, you could be level 55 to get the solar camo, but to get black sky, you need to then get all diamonds in the classic weapons to then officially unlock black sky, which you need to be max prestige. And to grind a max prestige to then get a camo like that just makes me say why would I grind for a camel like that when it looks like that bad so that is another issue that I have with this game is that how bad that looks because we have grinded so much to get this camel to then see what it looks like and we're just like depressed we're like you know how how do they call this a call of duty camel like this is the worst looking camel I've ever seen let alone this is supposed to be the best awarded camel in infinite warfare I think that's a huge issue with this game now getting off to some other issues I feel like they need to add more weapons in an infected they only have like you know the spaz so obviously I don't really think infected's that fun of a game mode if you're only using one weapon i think like if they use like the r3k even maybe like the nv4 assault rifle would be pretty fun and infected just you know changing it up putting some pistols in there just changing it up you know just making the game mode a little bit more fun i think they can make the game a little bit better here as well as with prestige icons i think they definitely need to update of how those look like they just look really stupid and i just don't think they're like you know really eye-catching i think they're just you know just like ah whatever like they look cool but like they're not nothing special i think they definitely need to work on the icons as well so you guys that is pretty much for wrapping up my video thank you guys for all watching i just wanted to talk to you guys about how that xp glitch worked in infinite warfare and just show you guys kind of why it was not allowing you to rank up and that xp glitch was pretty crazy but not as crazy as the one that was two weeks ago in capture the flag like that was literally the most craziest glitch that i've ever seen in call of duty multiplayer like that was insane you could prestige in four games i've never heard of that in call of duty before but that was one of the things that i just want to explain as well as with some of the reasonings to why i really think that this game could you know improve on and if you guys have any other concerns comments anything like that let me know down in the comments i will respond to you guys if you have any other thoughts on how to improve in infinite warfare i would love to see your guys's thoughts and stuff like that on that so if you guys did enjoy what i was talking about today if you guys could make sure to drop a like on the video like i said before a lot of things need to get changed in infinite warfare to make this game somewhat good right now it's a decent game i'm not really trying to throw shade on it i'm more just you know trying to make the game better and make infinite warfare just a little bit better because obviously you know the game's doing really bad right now so i'm really trying to you know help this game out and give it some tips but you guys that is gonna be for video thank you guys for all watching peace out